Afternoon, quick video this morning. It's a two-parter. It's about Tesla. Things are not going well for the manufacturer. Um, we've got an employee that has sadly died at their Texas plant. And then we've got 1.8 million cars being recalled because the software is unable to detect an unlatched hood or bonnet for anyone that lives in Europe. So let's go into this first one because there's not too much to say about this one. Tesla worker dies at Texas factory and the feds investigate working conditions. Uh, I believe this was last Thursday. Uh, Tesla are facing an investigation into safety at its Texas Giga factory after a worker died on site last week. The employee died on Thursday, but this is after a reported cardiac arrest died suddenly perhaps so maybe this is just unlucky and it's actually nothing to do with uh, the manufacturing plant not sure on that one however this isn't the first time that tesla have found themselves in hot water over safety conditions so important thing to do at the minute is sit on the fence and wait until we know more so i'm not going to speculate I'm not going to read any comments on this one as well, because they're basically just all speculation. First responders were called to the Tesla factory on the outskirts of Austin last Thursday, reported the local news outlet San Antonio Express News. Emergency services arrived on the scene at 8.30 to what was initially reported as an emergency, but was later altered to be in response to a deceased person. So sadly, someone has lost their life here. And again, this is the important thing. Details of the death are thin and Tesla has not commented on the incident publicly. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration has said it is going to investigate. Um, and they said the agency investigates complaints, deaths or injuries at work sites that result in hospitalizations. So it's sort of just their job to go in and see what's happened if there's been a hospitalization or a death in the workplace. So it's sort of following protocol. Nothing really to see here at this stage, and I do want to highlight that. Agency spokesperson said the death investigation could take six months, so it's too early to comment further. Failure to provide a safe working environment could result in federal fines, something Elon Musk's companies have faced before. So that bit is important. This has happened to Tesla in the past. OSHA's California division cited Tesla $38,000 for serious injuries in December 2023. Associated with an incident at its Fremont plant, a worker was trapped in a Model Y due to a mal malfunctioning conveyor belt, and the company contested the fines. So, um, not good, basically, and it's also not the first time, because we've had issues with Tesla blaming parts they've got from China for not being safe. So, on with this one, then. This is part two. Tesla recalls more than 1.8 million units over car software's inability to detect an unlatched hood. Electric vehicle manufacturing giant Tesla has recalled 1.85 million units in the USA due to risks arising from the car software's failure to detect, an, to detect an unlatched hood. Now, interestingly, when I read these sort of stories, I always compare to my own cars. Um, the Volvo has a cable that you pull and then it has a latch that you need to pull out and it latches on both sides at the front. You can tell if it is unlatched because the bonnet starts to do this as you're going along. It is possible as these cars age for the cable to stretch or things to get rusty. In that case, it'll only latch on the one side, but it's still quite secure because you've got two points of failure. However, if you're only relying on the electronics of the car to detect that, and let's be honest, most Tesla drivers, particularly in the USA, they don't seem to know anything about cars, do they? It's like they're the sort of people that don't have the ability to look out the windscreen and go, oh, the bonnet's wobbling a little bit. Maybe I should get out and check that that's closed. But maybe I'm stereotyping a little bit there and everyone's going to tear me down in the comments for saying that. Uh, I, no, that's not true because I know some people who are car people. My friend James has recently gone from a BMW 530 diesel that was written off, sadly, to a Tesla because it made financial sense to do so. And James is the sort of person that would absolutely know if there was something wrong with a tyre or a bonnet latch. So let's just ignore that generalisation. The National Highway Transport Safety Administration, NHTSA, warned that after a customer opens the hood of their Tesla, the latch assembly may not detect that it's open. And as a result, when the car is put into drive, the vehicle may not be able to notify the driver that the hood is still open. This allows the car to drive while the hood is fully open, obstructing the driver's view while on the road, increasing the risk of an accident. 
if you're driving your Tesla along, right, and there's a big white thing in front of you, because they're always white, aren't they? Uh, your bonnet's open, okay? If you're driving your Tesla and you can't see, it's because your bonnet has come open. The recall affects most Tesla models already on the road. 2021 to 2024, models 3, S and X. 2020 to 2024, model Y. The Cybertruck electric pickup truck is not included in the recall notice because that's got plenty of its own problems. Uh, and Tesla blames Chinese manufacturers for the car defects. A statement from Tesla indicated that the vehicles recalled were equipped with hood latches produced in China by manufacturer Magna Closures Kunshan Co. Limited which researches, develops, designs, manufactures and sells certain vehicle parts, including side door modules, electric sliding doors, shaking window machines, car door locks and hood latches. The automaker further claims it began investigating customer complaints of unprompted hood opening instances. <laughs> unprompted hood opening instances. Uh, that's better than died suddenly. In certain Model 3 and Y vehicles back in China in March, and it initiated latch hardware recovery and in-service vehicle inspections to deal with the issue. We keep buying cars that rely too much on stuff that's been made in China to a low standard that then heavily relies on substandard software. That's the issue here. Um, let's go back to making good quality stuff and connecting it with cables instead of wires. How about that? Uh, I mean, cables as in like steel cables, you know, that can rust and, and go wrong. But at least, you know, it's happening. Most of the defects were first discovered in China. The incidents were then seen in North America and Europe. And that represents the minority of affected Tesla. So it's mostly in China. The company's also opened engineering studies in China, Europe and North America to inspect the hood latch assemblies. Tesla claimed it only received three reports of the issue in the USA. No reports of crashes or injuries related to the recall because everybody's driving along looking around their bonnet like this and then not reporting it. Um, the NHTSA confirmed that Tesla also began rolling out over-the-air software updates, updates that can be done remotely rather than requiring a driver to take their car to the store to fix the issue in mid-June. Over-the-air software updates for your car. It's a different world, isn't it, that all these electric car people live in. I just... How are you okay with that? The fact that someone's going to log on and update the software to your vehicle remotely. I just, I don't feel okay about that. Uh, with software update, affected tester models are now fully able to detect open hoods or bonnets and alert drivers. Vehicles currently in production receive the software updates on July 15th and owners are currently being notified. And the notification period runs up till September 22nd. So if you own a Tesla and you have noticed that the bonnet isn't notifying you when it's open, or if you've been driving along thinking, I wonder what that thing is that's in the way, or maybe I should get out and close the bonnet, then it's all being looked into. In December, Tesla recalled 2 million vehicles in the USA to install new safeguards in its autopilot system. The previous recall was fixed with an over-the-air software update, which the company heavily relies upon to streamline the maintenance process and reduce costs. Tesla has long argued that the NHTSA should stop labelling its software updates as recalls and has called on the agency to update its rules and terminology, arguing that announcing a recall over a need to provide software updates unnecessarily affects the company's image. Once again, the only word that vehicle manufacturers are afraid of is recall. Just make them right in the first place please uh, but apparently not let me know what you think in the comments a couple of other videos coming up today uh nothing too serious because we're trying to keep it fairly light in the context of the country slowly collapsing around me thanks for watching